Hey guys, it's been a minute. I haven't had a couple of recordings made recently. I took a vacation, came back, and it's just hot, and I've been doing fires. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about the actual cash value versus the replacement uh, cost value uh, on insurance policies and the uh, contractor's overhead and profit. So there had been some class action lawsuits uh, where the uh, Department of Insurance was asked for its opinion on you know, overhead and profit. So let's just say, for instance, uh, I have a fire at my house and I have a replacement cost value uh, policy, but I uh, need some money up front to start the repairs, right? So insurance doesn't know if I'm gonna just sell my house as is, not rebuild it back and they get to keep that back end money. They don't know that. So normally they're trying to give you the least amount up front and then once you prove that you built it back for that amount or more they'll give you that back end money which is called withheld recoverable depreciation so the department was asked uh, what about contractors overhead and profit and sales tax since we know that the back end money is still going to be owed to your contractor it's really the only way you're going to get it um, why don't they pay it in the front and insurance is saying well why should we they haven't incurred it that's not true. I'm still going to hire my general contractor. I'm still going to pay sales tax if I'm building it back and asking for that back in money. So insurance should, Department of Insurance states that it's their position that you're supposed to indemnify me. That's the purpose of insurance and to put me back the way I was before this incident happened. So with that being said, I need that overhead and profit, that 20%, 10 overhead, 10 uh, profit for that contractor. It's called OMP. I need it now. I need the sales tax now. My guy is buying all his material now. You know, at the very end, they're probably still buying some stuff, but if you're gonna calculate it, you need to give it to me now, not wait. So that's been uh, a point of contention, a couple of class actions. The department, even though this bulletin is dated 1998 and it is the Texas Department of Insurance Commissioner's Bulletin number B-0045-98 because it was put out in June, of 1998, but it still stands. And it is uh, regard, it's to all property and casualty insurance companies in Texas. And it's regarding the calculate, calculation of actual cash value under the Texas standard homeowners policy form B, which back in 1998, they only had an A, a B, and a C. And now they have different ones, but the form B is equivalent, the HOB back then is equivalent of an HO3 and an HO5 now, which is the replacement cost on a homeowner. So I'm not talking about condo and stuff, but they would still relate to that on any policy that is being calculated on a, uh, a, a replacement cost value. So I'm Sharon Justice Black. I own Lady Justice Consulting Group. Uh, my license number is 1949-752. You can like and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, talk smack, send me some questions. I'll answer them if you would like me, and I've had people do this, reach out in different ways, email me, Facebook, uh, and ask me to do a segment on a certain topic and I'll do it. Uh, you can argue with me. I'll do my research and look it up. There are just things that I know because, you know, I have a legal background, so there are things that I know. But, you know, things do change and uh, maybe I'm wrong, so let me know. Uh, you are entitled to my opinion. This, uh, take care and be safe and be prepared.